Hello, Sylvia Garenzak here, and I'm a Gel Moment Independent Distributor. How is everybody doing today? Thank you so much for tuning back in. I am so excited to present this look to you today. I am going to do this Halloween look with this web using a little bit of Chrome, Raven's Kiss, and basically everything that you see here. So how about we get right to it? Okay, the first thing you're going to do is start with the tips. So I have a medium striper brush here from our creativity set. I'm ensuring that all the bristles are covered. So I just have a bit of Raven's Kiss on the palette here. And then what you're going to do first is draw a line from the middle of your nail to the top. And that's basically how big my tip is going to be. So I'm going down as far as I, as I want my tip to be. Okay, then you're gonna draw a horizontal line from here all the way across on both sides. This is just one way of doing a French tip. There are other ways as well, but I'm just covering this one method here. Okay. And then what you're going to do now is start on this edge and come and meet right there. So you're going to now see where we are here, kind of come across. We're going to start on that same spot. I'm just going to put a little dab of Raven's Kiss there so I have a bit of a guideline and do the same thing and meet in the middle. Okay. And now what we want to do is follow this in fill this in we're going to fill this in now this is going to be of a square bit here but we're going to address that in just a bit now we're going to just round it out from that edge and make a nice tip Okay, that looks good. Now it does look a little bit splotchy, but that's okay because what we're gonna do is go in with another coat of Raven's Kiss just to uh, make that completely black and opaque. So we're gonna give, give this a full cure. So how about we just go back in now and retrace this and we're going to make this super black. We will give this a full cure. Okay, the next step we're going to take Matter Effect, which is our matte polish, and we're going to put a thin coat on our nail so that we can do some chrome work, okay? Because chrome doesn't stick to a matte nail. So now Matter Effect is actually a very thin polish, so you want to make sure that you um, do not flood your cuticles because it's quite easily, it's quite easy to do. So we're just going to cover the entire nail, and then we'll give this a full cure underneath the lamp. Now that we have a matte nail, now we can get going on our web. So I chose Morning Glory here. The reason being, you can use black, you can use whatever color you want as your base. I wanted a bit of a medium toned web. If I went with a white, my web would be lighter. If I went with a dark, it'd be darker. So I kind of wanted it in somewhere in the, media, in the middle. As well, when I'm using Morning Glory, I'm going to outline this as well. And I wanted to be able to see it a lot better as opposed to using Raven's Kiss because with my poor eyesight, <laughs> I'll probably mess up the line because it's that's Raven's Kiss right against it. So I am using Morning Glory. So now I'm just using a really thin brush. And to start with the web, we're gonna draw, draw paint, whatever you like, whatever term you wanna use. Uh, one line from the middle of your nail all the way up to where you want your web to stop. You're going to alleviate the pressure at the end. I hope you can see because it's a very fine line. I'm going to alleviate the pressure at the end because we want it to have a tapered end for that web look, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this underneath the lamp. I'm just retracing it and making it a bit longer because I have a long nail there. <laughs> I'm going to put this under the lamp for about five, six seconds. It's called a flash cure. And I'll tell you why, why I'm doing it. Um, the reason being is that because when I was practicing on my first nail is that when I wasn't doing a flash cure, then I was drawing the subsequent lines beside it, then this was actually becoming a pooled part of polish and I want it to be crisp right from the base. So that's why I'm doing a flash cure so that it won't self level into each other. So now I'm just coating my bristles again and I'm going to draw parallel line on this side make it a bit shorter and ease up at the end and then we're going to do the same thing actually I'm going to cure that for about six seconds <laughs> stay to your words Sylvia stay to your words because there's a there's a method to this madness all right and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side
Okay, so now for the interlacing part, we're going to connect the webs. Now remember that our polish is very self-leveling, so I do a few flash cures when I'm doing these interlacing webs in between so that they don't bleed into each other. And we're gonna give this a full cure. The next part we're going to do is then take our original striper brush and we're going to outline our tip with a little bit of morning glory because I wanna put some chrome on there too. Okay, this looks good and we're gonna give this a full cure and then we'll go to the fun stuff next. Okay, now for the fun stuff. So these are some of our chromes here. This is extraterrestrial here and I believe the purple one, if I the name escapes me, I think it's Galactica, Galactic. I'm gonna put the link to these products in my video below. So just in case, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, my goodness. We have so many chromes, it's hard to remember everything. So now, um, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this extraterrestrial right in the middle, and we're going to use the finer tip of our applicator sponge because I wanna get into the finer spots here. And then we're gonna use the purple on the outside. So kind of create this ombre look that you see here, okay? Now, you need very little product. So I'm just basically taking what's on the lid. This is all I'm going to need for this one nail. Look at, it just goes so far. I love our chromes so, so much. You'll probably see that there's a whole bunch of chrome nail art happening on my page because I love it. I'm obsessed. So I'm just doing a bit right into the middle here. And then I'm going to take this. Now, I haven't even dipped this into here. This is just residual from the last time that I used the purple chrome. And that's going to be sufficient to do the rest here. So I am just going to rub it right into the polish and you'll see that it doesn't stick to the matte polish at all that's why i love using matter effect for these kind of chrome looks and it's just going to stick to the fresh polish that we just placed on there so i'm just putting i'm just rubbing this in and then i take this and kind of rub it in a little bit more here to kind of smooth it all out make the transitions a little bit more seamless more of an ombre kind of look and that's it for that. So now I have this brush right here, which you can get to Am on Amazon. I'm going to put this uh, link in the in my uh, description of this video as well, because it is so perfect. It is so light and so fluffy and gentle that it's not gonna scratch your chrome. So now I just do this and I take all the excess off of my nail. Love this product. Okay, after this, I'm going to take gel extend and seal this all in because with tips I really like to use gel extend because it adds a little bit more um, strength to the nail. I find that I chip my nails pretty easily <laughs> so I want as much uh, strength as I can using gel extend but feel free to use clearly frisky or simply clear that'll work on these designs as well. So I'm just going to clean this all up. I'll put a little bit of gel extend on here and cure it under the lamp and then you'll see what the final product looks like stay tuned here it is it is fully cured i'm going to be doing this on the rest of my nails here too i think this is going to be a lot of fun for halloween thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit that notification bell also like and subscribe my channel i really appreciate your support and that way you'll always be in the know of what i'm going to post next ciao ciao for now